welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply lashes for beginners. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I already have all my makeup done except for my lashes. So yeah. Let's get into how I'm going to apply them. The lashes I'm going to be using are the LA Colors Dramatic Lashes, and I'm going with really cheap ones because I'm trying to show you that you really don't need expensive lashes. I honestly will even sometimes get lashes from Dollar Tree because you know what? They all look the same, so you really don't need super expensive lashes when starting out. So as you can see, I have my makeup done, everything except for my lashes, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. I'm not a pro. I still mess up sometimes with my lashes, but I just, I guess I've, I've learned a couple things in my many times that I do makeup looks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is curl your lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now you're going to want to apply a very thin coat of mascara. You don't want to do like a really thick one. This is just so that if you have lighter hair, this will blend your lashes in with your fake lashes. And this will also just help them all stick together and everything. So I'm just going to do a very, very thin coat of mascara. Okay, so now we're ready to actually apply the lashes. So I'm going to take mine out of the container. And you're also going to want to get some lash glue. My lashes did not come with lash glue. Sometimes they do. But I think it's better to actually just buy it yourself. My favorite lash glue is this one right here. This is the Super Strong Hold at Eyelash Adhesive Gear. And I got it off of Amazon. It was like five bucks. So, so I'm just going to take the lashes out of their container. So you can kind of see the lashes. So that's what they look like. And you're going to need to trim these because no lashes ever fit. If you, if you don't trim these, your lashes are not going to look on point. So just always, always trim lashes. I'm going to take out the one that I'm going to first trim. And I'm going to try it on first to see exactly how much I need to trim off. I'm just going to line the lash up. And I can kind of see that all this needs to come off. So I would say roughly like six of these little like clumps need to come off. And when you're, when you're trimming your lashes, you never want to trim from the inside. Always. So, like, okay. So, this is my lash, okay? This is the inside. This is where it's going to go to my inner corner. And this is the outer part. You never want to trim this part. Please never do that. It's so bad. Only trim from the outer corner. So, I'm going to take some little trimmer scissors that I have for cutting my brows. And I'm going to trim a couple pieces. So now that I've trimmed my lashes, you're going to have this little clip, like little piece. You can throw this away, or you can actually keep these and use these as little eyelash extensions. If one day you, like, had just, you just wanted a little bit of extra lash, you can keep these and use that for that. So that's what I like to do. But now that we have the actual lash we're going to be using, all trimmed and ready to go, I'm going to try this on one last time and make sure. And you can see that that looks a lot better. So now I'm going to set this aside to just kind of chill while I do the other lash. So again, I'm just going to try this lash on, see exactly how much I need to trim off, and usually they're the same. I just I just like to make sure and trim and just try them on and see, yep, it's the same type. So I'm gonna trim off six of the little clusters. Usually they have clusters of lashes, and so that's usually how I figure out how many I need to trim off. And by the way, no lash brand is the same and no lash is the same. Definitely always make sure that you try on the lash and figure out how many you need to cut off because you're never, like, one brand may only need to come off, like, two, and some of them may need to come off, like, ten. You never know, so it's just always safe to assume and cut off however many is needed for that brand or that lash, so always try them on. So now that our lashes are all cut to size, we can actually get ready to apply them. So when applying your lashes... I would recommend getting a pair of tweezers because these are always just more helpful. You can do it with your hands. You don't need tweezers, but they're just, they're helpful. They're always more helpful. So you're going to want to take your lash and figure out, obviously, which eye goes on because you don't want to put on a lash backwards. And you're going to want to take your applicator glue and you're going to want to apply just a little tiny bit along the lash. You don't want to use too much. You want to have a solid coat, obviously, but not a crazy amount. And you don't want to immediately apply the lash as soon as you apply the glue. You want to give it a couple seconds to get tacky. And basically tacky means that when you touch it with your finger, it like makes like almost a spider web. It makes little strings. I like to wait a couple seconds. So how I do this is you're going to tilt your head up 
and apply the ashes face down and prop it right down in the middle. And then you can use, I just prefer to use my finger to kind of fix the lash. And now you can go ahead and press the lashes into your natural line after you give them a couple seconds to obviously like stick to the actual lid. And I get very focused when applying my lashes. So I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. Because they are very, very easy to mess up. And you may it may take a couple tries to get the lashes right where you want them. But in the end, you want to try to get them as close as you can to your actual lashes. Um, I would recommend taking the bottom of your um, tweezer and kind of bringing them up. So that they're not super like pressed down. Now, if you want, you can do another coat of mascara. I'm not going to. I think that these are good enough, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the other side. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this well. Um, I am trying really hard. You kind of have to move fast with lashes. Once you the glue is good, you just have to go right on and just literally clamp it on the lash. It will probably most likely take you a couple tries to get the lashes right. So I'd recommend going to Dollar Tree and getting some really cheap ones and trying those out first. I'm just going to apply some lash glue. This specific glue dries very fast, so I don't really need to leave it as long. And once you do it, you want to tilt it all the way up. And then you want to look at yourself from the mirror below. And you just want to just plop it right, right where you want it. Like, literally. You only get one try, so just, just literally plop it. And another little tip is you can pinch the lash to your actual skin and your lash line to kind of, like, pinch those together. To get them really as close as possible. Just kind of give it a good pinch. This will also help to blend in your falsies with your real lashes. And boom. And now you have beautiful, voluptuous lashes. And you also can do um, a coat of mascara on your bottom lashes just to help with that. To make them look really natural and pretty. And boom, that is how you apply lashes. I hope this video was helpful for you guys in some way, shape, or form. If it was, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I upload a video. But, I mean, yeah, I think that's it.